said generals are always prepared to fight the last war. It's interesting. September of last year, 2021, when the GDP estimates for this year were plus 3.8 percent, PCE inflation was at 4.2 percent. They said inflation was transitory and they thought it made sense to have a Fed funds rate at 10 basis points. Now that inflation is actually rolling over, commodities are rolling over, we've had two quarters of negative GDP, we're probably going to have a third quarter of negative GDP, meaning we've got the recession in the rearview mirror. Now they think it makes sense to have the Fed funds rate at 4.6% by early next year, uh, which makes absolutely no sense. So they're going to have to walk this back. They just don't know it yet. And Sarah, they're going to have to walk it back for three reasons. Number one, as we know from commodities and the most recent three inflation prints since June, uh, inflation is rolling over. But as you said, uh, every 1% hike in the Fed funds rate, that's going to add $285 billion a year to the U.S. deficit just on interest payments. Uh, you know, and for those who think that he can be Paul Volcker like in 1980 to 1982, U.S. debt to GDP back then was running at around 30 percent. So he could r hike rates as high as he wanted to. We're running at 122 percent right now. You don't have that much latitude. So their playbook has been let's talk hawkish and act dovish. They're only at 3.08 percent on the Fed funds rate right now. Uh, Chair Powell is scheduled to uh, do a prepared speech on Wednesday. We'll see if he takes that opportunity to walk things back a little bit. And as you pointed to, a lot of things are starting to break, you know, with the British pound, with the euro, with Italian bond year yields at nine year highs, with the ECB having to go into the market to, uh, again with quantitative easing to start to buy those uh, Italian bonds to contain things. I think at this point, uh, it might be the sensible place to see a little bit of a walk back this week.